Variables in PHP are much like variables in another programming language. Variable is a container which can store a value. In PHP, we have seven types, no, we have eight types of variables. The fact is that the uh, variable in PHP doesn't have the type. The value has the type. Okay, so and the variable type changes dynamically when we assign different value to it. Okay, so here are the types what we have in PHP. We have a string, integer, float, boolean, null, array, object, and resource. And we're gonna see uh, the first five right now, and we're gonna see array objects and resource later in this course. Let's see how we can declare variables in PHP. So we need to use dollar sign and then here the variable name. So I'm going to declare variable called name. The variable must start with letter. It can contain underscore and digit later. Okay, it cannot start with digit. Uh, or but it can start actually with underscore just like this. Okay, so let's declare variable name and give it Sura. Let's declare another variable. Um, and give it like 28 um, is hate will be um, is mail will be true we have hate variable which will be 1.85 and we have salary variable which will be now okay I have declared five variables all of them have different types. Okay, let's first see uh, what will be the output when we print this variable. Okay, I'm going to quickly copy the code and explain. So here I'm printing five different variables and I'm using also beer tags. That's important thing. So I'm printing right here name and then the dot is basically for concatenation. So I'm concatenating my name with string beer tag. That's HTML self-closing tag. Okay, I'm doing this to show all uh, all variables on a new line. Okay, this is how it will look like. If I remove that that beer tags, okay, just have a look. They will be written on a single line, and it will be hard to read. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual output. So the name is Zura, uh, age is 28, email is true. Ismail we declared as a boolean true, but right here it's written 1. The height is 1.85 and the salary is nothing. So basically when we try to print the null using echo, it will be converted into string and it will be converted into empty string. And if we have a look in the page source, we see that right here we have empty string. Okay, if we change this Ismail variable into false, the same thing will happen. So right here... Uh, we see empty string also. Okay, cool. Let's let's move on and see how we can print the type of the variable. Okay, for this we have get type function in PHP. We give name right there, and let me give also beer tag to print them on a on a single line on a new line. And let's repeat this four times. We have age. We have type of is male. We have type of hate and salary and here we have types string integer boolean double and null and double or float they are basically the same and that's the five types i have mentioned i have mentioned before okay so if i want to like print the whole variable and uh, i can do this with a var underscore dump function i'm going to give a name there for example and it will print the every information php has about that variable it tells that it's string its length is four and its value is sura i can print in the same way uh age and salary i can print them on a um, in the same vardom function or i can i can create a like separate vardom function for salary or is male and let's have a look so the first one name is this one the age is integer 28 and the salary is null. Okay, so let me show you one important thing. So now I'm going to change the variable into 28. Okay, and I'm going to try after this to print the type of the name variable. Okay, let's let's uh, let's leave this on the only name. Okay, so initially the type of the name is string then we change the name into 28 
and then we print the type of the name and its integer. That's because, as I said, variables in PHP don't have type. The values have type. And depending on what value we assign the variable, the type of the variable changes. We can repeat the same thing and assign name true. And then we can print the type of the name and it will be Boolean, obviously. Okay, let's go ahead and see how we can check whether one particular variable is string or integer or boolean okay so in php we have special functions for this is something like is string is boolean is integer is float is double and they basically return true or false let's let's use is string and give their name so i'm going to pause right here and can you guess what will be the output of is name okay you are right the output of is name of uh, is a string when we give name will be false because the name variable is 28 and 28 obviously is not string okay and we can go ahead and put this in the in the var dump to have a look what the actual output will be okay here is boolean false i recommend to write uh, along with me while I, i'm writing you can pause the video write something and experiment with it and this, this is actually the way I learned. Okay, so we can uh, use another functions like is string and is integer. I'm not going to show you all of them because they are really obvious, I think. So uh, this one returns false. However, this one will return true because the name is actually an integer. Okay, let's save this. And here it is. If we comment this line, the name will be the initial value what we have. And that's that's Sura. Okay, so the first one will be evaluated into true. However, the second one will be false and we can see it. That's it. Okay. Um, okay, let's imagine the following case now that I want to print a variable and it's called address. Okay. And obviously, I have an error, undefined variable address. So in PHP, we have special function to check whether the particular variable is uh, defined or not. Okay. And it's called is set. So I'm going to give is set address and that will be simply evaluated into true or false, whether the address var variable is um, defined or not. And in this case, obviously, this will be evaluated into true, into false, excuse me, because the address variable is not declared. Let's go ahead and put this in the var dump. And let's comment this code. And as we see, uh, this returns false. Let's go ahead and put their name. What will be the output of this Vardom statement? Right, it will be true because the name variable is declared. Okay, let's go ahead and repeat the same things for age and for example, uh, salary. Can you guess what will be the output for age and salary? Okay, probably you haven't guessed correctly. So age uh, is defined actually. But salary is set for salary returns false because the salary is a null and the null works slightly differently. Okay, let me come this one. So when the variable is null, it uh, and we call it using is set, we print the result of the set, it's false. Null is a like, special type. Okay. Okay, let's talk about constants. In PHP, we have a possibility to declare constants using define. Constant basically is an immutable variable. As soon as you assign something to it, you cannot change. Okay, I'm going to define a variable pi in this uh, in this constant uh, in this function define. So we define basically a constant using define function, where the first argument is pi and the second argument is the uh, is the value. The first argument is the uh, excuse me the uh, constant name. Okay, I'm going to print now pi and I don't use a dollar sign uh, when I'm printing the pi variable. Okay, so whenever I'm like declaring or accessing or rewriting a variable, I'm always using it with dollar sign. Okay, you notice that. But for constants, it's, it's different. I don't use a uh, dollar sign. Let's save this and print it and I see this. 3.14. If I want to check one particular variable is defined or not, I have function defined. And I'm going to give here pi. And that will be evaluated into true or false. And that will be obviously evaluated into true. That returns true. However, if I change this pi into like pi 2, 
that will be evaluated into into false okay i'm not going to print this but you will get the idea and you can try you can pause the video and do this uh, it will be good practice okay and in php we have a lot of built-in constants and i'm going to just show you how we can use them so in, in the same way as we print this pi we can print like any available php's built-in constant for example uh, php php int max which returns the maximum value of the integer can have in php and that's this large number okay that's just an example as i said php has a lot of a lot of uh, like built-in built-in constants and functions also and you just need to have a look at them just to have an idea what what they uh whether they exist or not and what exists in general um okay and i will link uh in the description the like the url where you can see the like constants of the php okay that's it about variables and let's move on and talk about numbers